Hey guys, I'm up north in Buda, Norway, and I'm under quarantine just to make sure that we're well because we've traveled from Kenya. I recorded the video that you're about to watch before I traveled here, and I still think it's valid and should be shared, so have a look. Hey guys, uh, I'm packing up and heading to northern Norway today, this evening. And I'm feeling a bit emotional, feeling tired. I haven't been sleeping a lot. Forgive the quality of this video. Let's see if I can change the lighting. Hold on. Something I wanted to address today while I am packing some thoughts across my mind and things I'm discovering as I travel with Mari. I know that in a lot of communities, being gay is acceptable, it's okay. But what a lot of people may not understand or realize that, for me anyways, a huge hunk of my life is spent walking in a little bit of fear, questioning, how do I behave? What if they find out? There's a lot of anxiety. I can remember even today talking with Marit, who's in the kitchen, and uh, we're traveling to the north, and I was like, so is it okay? if people know, I mean, like, is it safe? And she just looked at me and she was like, you know, this person is safe. Uh, it's okay. This person is safe for you to be yourself, <laughs> basically. It's a weird thing to think about that everywhere I go, I have to wonder, is it safe? Is it safe? Are they going to accept me? as I am. I don't think it's really fair that should I hide my rainbow bracelets? Should I uh, make sure that I act straight, whatever that means. And uh, that's, how, that's how I'm finding my life right now. In Kenya, for example, um, I have been warned not to let on that I'm gay. I shouldn't post things. I shouldn't be too public about it. I should, I have make sure no one finds out and then as i've traveled across the world it's like what spaces is it safe for me to be me it shouldn't be that way it shouldn't be that way i shouldn't I'm to a point where I'm tired. I'm physically tired of walking in a state of questioning. I, I, I say this because wondering how are they going to react? How are they going to treat me? It's not only religious people. I mean, there are people who aren't religious who probably are also homophobic. So. I guess I'm just talking and rambling and trying to get my thoughts out there. and. And, and hoping that by speaking and, and pouring out the issues that I struggle with, that maybe it will invoke change. Maybe it will help people wake up and think, oh, yeah, I didn't think about it. I do think about people who are gay or queer or I'm scared of them or because I know after coming out, people treated me totally different. Most of my friends had a hard time being around me because now I'm different, so. Oops. No, it's okay, come on in. There's Marit. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, obviously I'm gonna end this now, but thank you for listening. And uh, I hope that this invokes some thoughts and maybe uh, sparks some change. Don't forget, click like and subscribe. And I hope to see you around, post some comments. I'd love to hear back from you.